Hi, Christine here with another cute, quick and simple card I made using my Cricut. I have to do the last of the four invitations for my children's Halloween party. It was supposed to be a very small, quick affair and right now I have six boys coming for two hours and six to eight girls, ten-year-olds, wow, four three hours after the first set leave but I'm also very excited I started decorating and I have some really cute games for them to play and I found on the internet some really really cute recipes so I'm excited about that I might take some pictures or even a video and maybe I'll post it anyways this is one of the cute invitations that I made and it's actually not quite Cute. It's kind of on the scary side, but my daughter thinks it's cute because it's a spectacular and uh, very, very simple to make and very, very quick. So uh, let's get started. Now, I don't have any more of the ghost paper, which I think is extremely cute. It comes from uh, Recollections Pack this year, which I got at Michael's. And it's the, only the small papers, so I used all that up. So I'm going to demonstrate with another really cute um, paper. Um, this one has little skulls and bones, and uh, I think it's just as cute. So uh, basically I started with a black cardstock and uh, 8.5 by 11. Um, cut at five and a half inches and then fold it in half to get a standard A2 size card. Then I'm going to take uh, this background paper which is cut at four inches by five and a quarter and before I mount that down I'm actually going to take a little bit of black ribbon. I'm going to move the card out of the way for a second. All I'm going to do is take my ATG gun and just put a little bit of adhesive on the ribbon and I'm just going to put that right in the middle of the card just like so it was a little long but that's okay all right so I'll put the card back in place then I'm just going to take my ATG gun again and put it straight down on the black cardstock. Because these were invitations and I used black cardstock, um, I took a white uh, jelly roll pen and I used it like a chalkboard. So I ha used my handwriting and all I did is said, you're invited, here's my address, you know, please RRSP. And I think it looked really, really cute. So I like how uh, I didn't have to put a liner in it or anything. All right, so after that, I took another black piece, and this, I believe I wrote on what it is, it is two and a half by three and a half, and then the top piece is a quarter inch shorter than that, so it's two and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I'm just going to glue those two together, and I think I just moved the camera, I hope it's not... Uh, out of range too much and I think it is so I'm just going to raise my card up a little bit here um, and I think I'm going to put it this way so all I'm going to do is take a few pop dots, foam tapes whatever you need to just raise it up and take the backing off Do that really quickly. Okay, and that just goes on the left hand side of the paper, just like so. Now, I took a stamp that I bought. Um, at Joanne's. It's called Spectacular, and uh, I think it's absolutely adorable. So I just stamped it, I cut it out, raised it on the black again, and I doodled all the way around this. I'm actually going to doodle, doodle all the way around all of the black, but I just started with this one. Okay, because then on this side is going to be 
uh, a black border again and I used white instead of the green black ground I used white in this particular case now I didn't like the solid white so all I did was raise this um, I ran this um, square through my cuddle bug using Swiss dots and the measurement on the square on the black cardstock is three and a half inches by three and a half inches and then the smaller white one is a quarter inch smaller okay I don't know if you can see that okay I'm gonna move the card out of the way for a second and then I went to my Cricut I didn't use it much on this card but the image I think it is the focal point of the card and all I needed was the pumpkin um, this pumpkin is cut out from the Cricut cartridge October 31st now I don't have October 31st but I have the ultimate creative series sampler and on bonus five where did that go on bit bonus five I have a whole bunch of images and this one is it and it's from October 31st and I cut it out at three inches and I'm so glad that I picked up that cartridge because it has a lot of the Cricut cartridges I don't have and I wouldn't have purchased um, just for single images because I wasn't interested in the rest of the cartridges but at least this gives me samplers of Cricut cartridges I don't own and I can still play with my Cricut so all I'm going to do is take some two-way glue and put the image straight down in the center now I started doodling um, all the way around it and I thought it looked really really cute so I'm gonna put the card back I think I'm in and all I'm going to do so I'm going to flip it over and all I'm gonna do is mount this side of the foam tape because the other is side is gonna cover partially of what I've done so far and it doesn't need any additional foam tape so I'm just going to put that right in the center of the image that I put on before, just like so. And that is all there is to this card, very simple. And all I'm going to do after that is doodle all the way around all of the black images that I cut out with cardstock. It just gives an extra added little small touch um, so it doesn't look so bland or so simple I'm not going to show you all of it but that's all I kept doing probably do the rest off camera as soon as I'm done but I just wanted to show you one last thing let me just finish this one off and so I went all the way around the edge here and then I did the edge of this one as well so the other card which I'm gonna bring back which I actually love with the green and the white I'm so sad that I ran out of the paper I just added some purple gems in this particular case I am just going to add some red ones and very simple to make an invitation could use it not just for an invitation you can use it for any other Halloween activity and that is oops all there is to it you know believe it or not I own tweezers I should start using them more anyways and that's pretty much it very fast very simple cute invitation so I might demonstrate one more of my Halloween cards and I do have a video coming up because I was asked to do a little treat or goodie bag or box and in my particular case it's going to be a very small little three inch bag. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.